Hey folks, this is Isaiah from Your Head Software. Today we're going to be talking about externals. Um, and uh, yeah, there's been a little bit of um, hubbub on the forum about externals and how they can kind of uh, migrate from one project to another, um, sometimes without you looking, and um, yeah, tend to inflate the size of a project, especially if the externals have lots of image data or maybe even other externals inside of them. And so uh, today I'd like to do a little demonstration to show you um, how externals uh, can jump from one project to another, uh, why they jump from one project to another, and um, lastly, what you can do about it, of course. that uh, That's the most important thing. Okay, so... Um, let me first uh, show you what I have so um, you can see I had nothing up my sleeves, so to speak. Um, you can see what we're starting with as our project here. Um, I have a little test project called Test External saved here, um, just on my desktop. And I've gone ahead and removed all of the external files themselves. So um, there aren't any outside externals. Externals can live as part of the project or um, actually as a file. Um, and if they exist as a file, that, that's a way that you can share them with a colleague um, or uh, move them one, from one project to another. But you can also just share the project itself. Um, the project itself contains um, those externals, like in this case, I have two externals here as part of this project. Oops, I double clicked. Um, and uh, I also have some other externals. Um, so there's five more externals in this project um, that we're not using right now. Um, Stacks doesn't remove them immediately when you uh, stop using an external. Um, it saves them until uh, you take some manual action to uh, eliminate them from the file. Um, and it does this just in case you need to use them again, um, but also in cases like uh, you delete and then undo. Um, so even if you delete, save, and then undo, um, that external will still go on living, even though you've saved the project without it in it. Um, so uh, yeah, in that case, Stack saves it to sort of a third place uh, that exists um, in between all of the files. Um, and I can show you how to eliminate externals completely from your project um, if you want to do that too. Um, so uh, first off though, let's show you why externals um, jump from one project to another. Okay, so to do this demonstration, I want to start stacks in a way that these externals have not loaded into memory. Um, and we'll do that by going to this third page here. It's a blog page without any blog entries. <laughs> so um, just to keep it simple here, I'm going to uh, save the project in this state. So um, it's saved on this blog page. Um, and then I'm going to quit Rapid Weaver entirely. I'm doing that so that um, not only are those stacks not loaded, but uh, are not only are those externals not loaded, but stacks isn't even loaded at all. Okay, so now I'm going to open up my project. We're still on the blog page. Um, and notice uh, we have not yet loaded stacks at all. So stacks is kind of, it exists as a plugin, but Rapid Weaver hasn't activated it yet. So it doesn't know about externals. It doesn't know the universe exists at all. Um, now we're going to uh, create a new project and I'm gonna basically uh, try to create something similar. So we'll start with a blog page, an empty blog page, and I will save this um, and we'll just call it test two. So there it is is in uh, Finder. And um, I'm going to copy over this no externals page. I'm just going to drag and drop. 
So that made a copy. And notice we made a copy. That data um, migrated from one project to another, the stacks data from that page. Um, and stacks never loaded. Stacks never even had the chance to say yes or no, good or bad. Um, I didn't get to watch that that data migrate. Uh, it has no say in it whatsoever. You, it's part of um, the Rapid Weaver uh, projects, and Rapid Weaver can move that data around and even save it to a new project without ever loading stacks um, in, into memory and and making stacks run as as a a program itself. All right, so I'm going to save that project, and uh, we won't save this one. We'll just leave that one as is, and we'll quit. OK, so now I'm going to open up this um, second project we created. So the question is, did the <laughs> stacks data migrate? I hope so. Um, I haven't done this before, so uh, yeah, it, it should. Um, so here we go. Uh, we click on the No Externals page, and we have uh, our stacks data with references to, um, well, these are just built-in ones, but it could have references even to third-party stacks, and that data will migrate whether stacks likes it or not. Um, Rapid Weaver did all the work, um, and uh, stacks just went along for the ride. Um, but it looks like it, it worked, um, and furthermore, it didn't bring any externals along with it. So the externals from that other project didn't come along for the ride because they exist only as that on that externals page. This page, which didn't have any externals on it and never has, um, it never acquired those externals. So um, when I migrated the data, it didn't come along. All right, so I'm going to save it again uh, on this blog page, quit, and um, we're going to do the same experiment again this time with externals, and hopefully the externals will come along for the ride. Okay, so we're going to open up our other page here. So now we're going to duplicate the has externals page. And boom, we'll put it right there. Again, um, I'm going to save this and close it and not save this one. Leave that one as is and quit. Okay, so uh, we migrated that page. Um, again, Stacks wasn't loaded at the time. It doesn't know whether that page migrated or not. Um, but hopefully that externals data exists as part of that page and came along for the ride. So um, here we go. Uh, looks like we got what we wanted. Um, our externals are here and here, and even uh, the extras that had existed as part of this page in the past, they came along for the ride too. So Stacks um, is storing that data along with this page. And when that page migrates, um, even though Stacks wasn't even running, uh, that data came along for the ride. Now, in this case, that was great. That was what we intended to happen. Um, but, uh, you'll notice that there was a lot of automatic behavior there and um, Stacks is behaving very conservatively. Um, it has uh, seven stacks of which you're only using two right now. But because you copied the page that has had those stacks in the past, the other five came along for the ride too. In this case, that's what we intended, but a lot of times that happens and you didn't intend it. It can be a little bit difficult to get rid of data uh, once it's there. So um, I'm going to try to do one more demonstration here. And again, I haven't done this, so um, I'm kind of winging it here. I set these projects up hoping that they would work in this way, but um, I'm not 100% certain that this is going to happen because there's a lot of complex automatic behavior here. And even for me, the guy that wrote it, um, I wrote it like years ago. Um, I'm not 100% uh, certain I remember every last little detail of when 
Stacks will decide to copy uh, data along with a project and when it won't. Um, there's lots of little corner cases that um, I tried to take care of um, to make sure that data never gets deleted. Uh, yeah, and it can be difficult to exercise them all. Okay, so um, this time I'm going to open up this project that has externals in it. And I'm also going to open up an empty project. So this one has no externals. It has nothing in it, in fact. Um, but I'm going to do something with this uh, page with externals on it. So I'm going to put an external here. Maybe delete it. And then I'm going to come back to this page, and I'm going to make a change. Uh, I thought that would have done it. Maybe it did. Um, I'm going to save a copy of that, and we'll quit. <laughs> like I said, I might need to do this a couple times. Um, it, it can be difficult to um, get it right. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't get it. Okay, so let's try it in the other order. So I have the empty page here, and let's open up the one with externals in it. Yeah, that did it. Okay, so now we'll make a change. And we'll save the project. Quit. And I'll open up my theoretically empty project. And notice I didn't purposefully um, make any changes. I didn't even touch an external that time. But um, because of the order that I loaded them in and some other factors, I'm sure, um, Stacks decided that the best thing was just in case to move the stacks, to move the externals um, also to this project um, because something could have happened behind its back when it wasn't looking. Um, obviously, it shouldn't have happened in this case. It was only one page. We didn't actually do anything. Um, stacks is behaving over, overlive, overly conservatively. Um, and uh, yeah, the externals migrated to what shouldn't, a project that shouldn't have them. So if this happens um, to your project, it, it happens a lot of times when people um, view demo projects that come with stacks or um, some people have purchased a sort of a template system from a developer who sets everything up and they provide some externals or maybe accidentally provide some externals. Um, and those externals have come in that project. And you open that up along with uh, your project file, maybe even just to have a look, and suddenly you've gained 25 megabytes of, of external data. So how do you get rid of it? So um, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is uh, start by um, quitting Rapid Weaver. So once Rapid Weaver is open and Stacks is running, um, the Stacks library sort of exists in memory. And it's not going to unload until you quit Rapid Weaver. The Stacks library kind of exists between pages. It's not part of one page or another page. And so it's just going to hang out in memory until you quit. So the first thing to do is quit. The second thing to do is um, make sure your externals folder is empty. Now, if there are externals that you're using, um, you'll want to make sure that you save a copy of those too. I don't want you to actually lose data that you intend to keep. So, um, but if you just want to get rid of them all, um, yeah, nuke this folder, <laughs> uh, throw it off to the trash or, or just move it to a safe place. Um, now, let's open up our project that uh, we would like to uh, clean the externals from. So the second uh, part of this process, um, after we've, we've removed uh, all the externals, and we've also, um, you know, quit and restarted Rapid Weaver. Um, we've only opened the project that we're focusing on. 
We haven't opened any other projects at all. And you notice we have those, those uh, seven externals, none of which we want. So we're going to tell Stacks now to just get rid of them. So we select them all. Well, we can just go to the externals right, and select everything there. And then I'm going to control click on it. Um, you can also use you know that here but button there, but control click works too. Um, or or right click. Uh, and I'm gonna say remove from library. And it will say this will remove the parsers from the library, but not from your document. So um, if uh, if those externals exist somewhere else in your document, like on another page or inside of a partial on another page, I mean, they can be anywhere, right? Um, Stacks is going to save them there too. But if the only place they existed was in the library there, I mean, that, that is the case here because we only have this one page. Then we're going to save the project like this and we'll quit. And now, hopefully, those, uh, those externals don't exist um, inside of that project. They don't exist in the finder. That should be it, I, I hope. Um, <laughs> like I said, I haven't done this demo. So uh, let's see, let's see if um, it actually works. So um, yeah, it looks like uh, we got away with it. Um, so uh, we have our same document, um, but this time no externals. So uh, what have we learned? We've learned, um, number one, that externals can jump from one project to another if you have those projects both open at the same time, especially um, if you load a, a project that has a lot of externals into it and you look at the pages where those externals are used or where they have been used in the past. Um, then once those externals are inside of the library, they will they can migrate from one project to another. They they don't always. Stacks does it when it thinks um, it should. Um, but in some cases, it's not even when Stacks has loaded. So that external data can exist um, inside of a page, and even just one Rapid Weaver is moving that data around from one project to another, even without Stacks running at all. That project, that data can uh, jump from one project to another or be removed even um, when Stacks isn't looking. So for that reason, Stacks behaves very conservatively. And whenever it thinks data might need to be in another project, it will save it as part of that project too. Now, the last thing we, we did was um, we removed the external data. And we did that by first eliminating it from our document. We're not using these externals. Second, we uh, emptied out our externals folder. And lastly, we selected those files and chose remove from library. So that removed them from all three places. They're not in the page. They're not in the finder. And they're not in the library. And once you've removed them from all three places, you save the project, and that project will be free of externals. All right, so um, that is probably way more about externals than you uh, ever hope to learn. I hope everybody learned something interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, until next time, um, be sure to check out uh, our new version of Stacks that comes out soon. Um, I don't know if you've noticed it. We were using it um, during this whole demo. Um, we have uh, a new Stacks folder and some really fun stuff uh, like new smart projects that allow you to um, customize how your, uh, your library exists, along with some other, you know, fun stuff. Um, that maybe we haven't had in the past. Um, 
anyway, uh, check that out and um, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later.